You just a female, a dumb female. A loca la señora, pero está loca. I don't know. Call the police. You call the NAACP, the NCAA, the AILU. I don't give a damn. Patrick walks into the store with a very unique item. I would like to um, sell this African antique drum. My father went on a safari some years ago and brought it back with him from Africa. My father passed away. Funerals are expensive. They need some extra cash for that. If I sell it, someone will buy it. They'll appreciate it more than he did. The customer gives Ashley his evaluation on the piece. How much are you looking to get today? I'm thinking where it came from and the antique nature. $400 seems reasonable. I mean, it looks like museum quality. You know? I think he got it about 20 years ago, and it was probably older than that even. Ashley throws a jab at Patrick. The reason that I don't believe that it's as old as you believe it is, if you see the rope on here, yeah. it's pretty new. If it was that old, I don't think it would be this clean. I can buy it for about $35. It's not antique. Could you go, say, $350? We're not even in the same, like, ballpark. Well, I need at least $300. I need to get back to northern Michigan. I need money to, so to get home. So here's what I can do for you. Patrick loses his cool. Everybody knows that Ashley at American Jewelry and Loan is a bitch. Take your drum. F*** you, Ashley. This is cool. I want $300 for this drummer. I'm not going nowhere. Ashley makes sure the customer leaves the store exactly as he came. Walk about it. What the, this man. is bull f all of you. Yeah, let's take this f outside, motherfucker. This place. It, it looks like this is the most you've ever walked in your life. You need to quit. A woman, having picked up her coat from Pawn, notices something. So a woman comes up to my window and she's claiming that there's a tear in her fur coat that's been here in storage for at least two years. And you are responsible for my merchandise. Because no, you're trying to pull one on us. I, no, 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 I can tell you what I'm not going through this comes with y'all. So don't be getting smiled with me. You got nothing to do with this. You know, Why is he talking, he's talking to me? To me. Nah, right. And I got he's the owner. For. Huh? He's the um, owner. Seth offers an option. Here's what I can do. Send out the seamstress, get it fixed, whatever it costs us. I'm just gonna pass on the cost to you. This that's fine. Was so that's your option. Sore. So what would you like to do? I'm gonna jump over this fence and they finna call the police. You gotta fix my coat. They seem to get to an agreement, but it's not over. What we do here, let's split the cost yeah, of the repair. All right? All right, Chip. We do that like that? I ain't paying for it. Come on, I come now. Back, I come back with a double bear shotgun. What Seth hears from the customer makes him rethink his decision. Rich, we're done. I'm not doing it. It's all done. No, you gonna fix my coat? Oh, no, we're not. Ma'am, you can't come back. Damn, this Wait a minute. And if I want you, I'll break this mic. Do it. Wait. Oh, yeah. I got, no, wait a minute. You get your hand off of me. They go into court for damaging my property. Is it considered waiting in the line if the store isn't opened yet? I'm finally here, you know what I mean? I've been in the land for like two hours. We haven't even been open for two hours. It was like an hour and a half. We went on 11 o'clock, and y'all's been open since 9 30. I, wait, I can't understand with all this swearing. I can't understand because you're listening too slow. You listen faster than you can hear everything I say. Things escalate rapidly. What is this? This ain't what he told me he was going to give me. What did he tell you he was going to give you? Oh, hey, ouch. My guys in the front, don't mess up. When we quote your price, we quote your price. You know Sir. what, see, you the type of motherfucker I've been a caught out sad and cracked you up sad your motherfucking head. It becomes evident that this customer is simply looking for trouble. Don't I would you talk ever! To this I would rather talk Correct. to this lady. Ten, Done. Listen here, I'm a pick. Go out Friday. I got, I'm a yeah. go out Friday. Friday. You gotta walk the You gonna talk to me with some respect. I got more women on the street out here hustling, doing things for me every night, every day. Despite his claim to run the streets, security ensures that this customer finds himself outside. Touch me. I swear to God, it's gonna be some repercussions. How y'all gonna put me up off this motherfucker? Man. I know you just doing your job, big dog, but I drive my with DM Duffy, man. If you was a pimp in the pie shop, well, maybe it's time to upgrade your bitches. This customer looks perfectly normal at first glance. Get a loan on this, please? $100. I can do the $100. Can I have your ID? And that's with my 20%, right? The sign right here say I get 20%. I get my 100 plus another 20%, which make 120 employee tells him that this will not be possible. No, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you serious? You ain't never seen the sign? I'm supposed to get 20%. You serious? You're going to give me 100. Yeah. I need 120. I can get Liz and the security guy both notice the commotion. Bro, the sign right here say I get 20%. Read it. To get 20% more on your items, you need to have an existing loan at another pawn shop. He grabs the sign that he is talking about. I need my $20. I want $100. Come on, bro. Hold on. Let me prove my point. Hey, 20% won't cast to anybody. Right. It's the motherfucking D, right? Right. The way that... give it to me. No, sir. Why? 
Seth tries to explain the situation to him. False advertising. I guess you think I You're not letting me talk. Then if you don't want to let me talk, then get the out. Come behind his glass then, bro. Seth takes him up on his threat. Give me my mother honey and twenty dollars in this bitch right now. Can I get my money? No, actually I'm not even offering you the hundred dollars anymore. Oh, for real? Yeah, for real. You in that honey twenty dollars. He then prompts the security to kick him out. Appreciate that. I'll take the sign with me. Down for the sign, my man. I'm gonna give my mother $20 worth. Huh? $20 worth right there, bitches. Two customers enter, looking to sell a pair of speakers and demanding a prompt response. I'm trying to sell it. You got interested. That's some good. Why is that? This is not hey, look. So why the you ain't interested in this? We're not interested in this. Well, where'd you buy it? Back of a uh, truck? No, 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 no. Seth attempts to explain the situation. But frustration sets in. This stuff is not hot. No, I'm not saying it's hot. Say you don't buy this? No, I'll tell you why. If you say you... why? If you think yeah. it's stolen? Look. We're talking to him. Okay, so you okay. let me talk? We see these speakers come in all the time. What Are the f you... Hold on, hold on. Uh, Stop your uh, roll. You're not going to put your, uh, your hand uh, out of my don't face. Ever touch me. Or else what? As tensions rise, security is forced to intervene. Hey, look. Oh, 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 oh. Hold it, hold it. Yeah. Hold on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Cheerio, partner. I'm out of here. It all starts when a customer is unhappy. Yo, look. You're going to what? I didn't hear what you said. Tell me what you're going to do to the hand out of my, my face. You're not supposed to touch me. Come on, man. The tension keeps building. Stop, y'all. Kill you, motherfucker. If somebody threatened us, there is no chance you was getting to your car. They threaten to hurt less, scaring everyone. Who you gonna kill, huh? Get out my face. Who you gonna kill? Get out my face. Who you gonna kill? I got it. Ashley, thinking fast, calls the police for help. Hi, I am a threat up here at American Jewelry and Lawn right now. Surprisingly, the customer apologizes. I was mad because I lost all my stuff. I might have did say something to that effect, but it was only venting, like any normal person would. You gonna walk you out. So I decided to let him go. He got very lucky. The customer returns to the pawn shop with a request. I found my computer. I want to come and get my hard drive. Oh my God, I got stuff on it. Les offers him the only solution possible. When you get out of pawn, you can have it back. Once it's in pawn, my employees cannot go back there and touch it. That's stupid. For real though, I need my hard drive and I ain't leaving until I get it. Unhappy with the news, the customer starts changing his tone and aggressively insulting Les. I just want my hard drive. When you pawn something, it's ours. Until you pay back the loan. Period. I'm about to get pissed off. Told you. That's a bull dog. I need my hard drive, dog. For real. I'm not leaving this window until I get my hard drive, dog. The situation starts escalating. What you talking about right now, dog? Can I have my hard drive? You can't. Damn it. Stop swearing at me, mother. You gonna try to be funny, dog? I know that's that. I see you, no, dog. You gotta walk up to me like that, dog. I'm not going nowhere until I get my hard drive. I ain't going no, dog. Get my dad. Who let the dog out? Tell some dog. Get off. Y'all my got me. Get off me, dog. Get off me. Get back. What? We have two customers with the wrong ticket. Oh, I came up here earlier to pay on my loan. The long ticket is wrong. Y'all gave me a dude's ticket. So you need to do your job and get my right. Les tries to resolve the situation. Somebody by the name of Daryl. Who the is Daryl? Do your, your job. job. No, I want to, the right ticket. What are you yelling about? I'm scared of you. He is left with no choice but to escort them out. You. 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 Hands on my girl. Bitches. Up next, a customer who is confused. Three diamonds? Perfect. All you need to do is buy something that has gold on it. We charge you for the gold and we give you free diamonds. This ain't free diamonds. Exactly like right. Just... Free diamonds. Why would you put that sign up? You should have, like, a little word. On if you sign. buy something, you get it free. However, he seems to not understand. Bull You're 100% like right. Just like this ass sign. What's up, bro? Why are you standing over me like that? Well, you need to take that sign right here, and you need to put the extra word that he say. Other than that, man, <laughs> that you want to help me? Man, you, you I don't need your help. I'm waiting for my free dime. Lying ass bitch. Security comes in and resolves the situation. A liar, man. Time to go. Man, what the man, get off me, dog. Don't, Time don't touch. Time to go. I don't need you to touch me. You bull 
lying ass motherfuckers, man. A man demanding his item back gets a bit out of hand. Hey, where's my TV at? Where's your pawn slip? Can I get my I TV? I don't know what's going what on. Mean, what I will not go get go nothing get my with TV. that what attitude. You mean not I don't get know what you TV. are talking sure, about. Can you back up, man? Back. Back. Les steps in and the customer does not have what is needed. You can get it. You about to bring it to me now? Sure, but give me your slip. What? I, I don't need to give you a slip. Give me my TV. You gonna give me my TV. I'll tear this bitch up. Me what are you yelling at me for? I'm not Because you're yelling at me. I don't give a I want my TV, man. Les reaches his breaking point and puts an end to it. No, I'm not going to all. Gonna need about five of y'all, bro. For real. Get up off me, cuz. I'm not playing with nobody. Look, man, if you give me the receipt, you go. So I guess you do have a receipt. Yeah, I guess I did. But go get my TV, man. I'm not your bitch. Perfect. Really? Thank Perfect. you. Just hurry up. Just go get Perfect. my TV. All, you gotta do is whatever. All this could have been avoided if he just provided the requested item. There you go, sir. How hard was that, man? Would have been easy if you wouldn't have been yelling. Crazy mother for real. Walking the talk, just like a big girl. A very unusual scene draws Ashley's attention. I, I lost my ring over here. I was going to find it. No, I had sat right here. Did just, you see I was, the sign? It says, I know, but I sit? sat here to see how comfortable it was. Step away. I, I tell you, chill out. 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 Seth also steps in and has had enough of his attitude. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this ring. Dropped it in the sofa. It I sat on the sofa. Don't sit. But I sat on it. Anyway. Why? He's making up the story, so we give him a free ring. What kind of ring was it? It was a gold diamond ring. Security steps in and takes him out. Y'all sofa took my ring. Y'all see what the f they doing to me? Come on, come on, man. I can't go wrong without this damn thing, man. Man, f man. If y'all gonna give me the ring, I don't wanna f you, bitch. Time from the girl. Y'all see what they doing to me, man? F this. Two customers walk in with a very strange story. I'm trying to sell my guitar today. Uh, about $200. We're just trying to sell this for $200. We have a baby coming up. One of us, maybe. How is that possible? Seth is appalled at what he hears. You guys both slept with the same girl, and she's pregnant. So you don't know who, yeah. who's and, uh, These guys were complete <laughs> idiots. Either way, Seth has made up his mind already. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, bud. We just well, need $200. So we I know. Pay, man. I wish I could help you out, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Uh, bucks, man. You know what? Take this guitar. Just give me $20. We'll get the out of here, man. Things take a turn for the worse. You're going to get the out of here. No, I'm not. Man, we're this place, man. I'll go show you what I can do. Well, anyways, a bunch of garbage. Won't even give me $20. Let's get something, huh? The customers proceed to make a statement while leaving. You think I'm playing with you? Clean it up right now. You pick it up with your rich ass. You're going to you with me on my territory? Get on your knees and clean it. I Moving on, this next customer walks in with his translator to purchase an item. ¿Cuánto, cuánto cuesta la, la calavera? He wants to know what's the price on the house call. Two hundred dollars. Ashley steps in. Se me recuerda a, a Momo, eh? Says he reminds him of his cow Momo. Tengo aquí en el pescuezo. <laughs> Had a tattooed on his neck. He wants to know if you will take fifty for it. Wow. It seems that language is not the only barrier. A loca, dile, dile que yo dije que está loca la. He says you're crazy. He wants to speak to somebody else. Hable más, por favor. You can talk to me. A loca la señora, pero está loca. Yeah, I'm not a crazy female. Mira, Momo. Yeah, it reminds me of Momo. I understand what he's saying. Háblame bien. Si yo te estoy hablando bien, no te estoy gritando. The situation gets out of hand, and Byron steps in. Dile que no hable de Momo así, no. Dile que no hable de Momo así, no. He thinks he said something bad about his cow now. Dile, pero dile, güey. He said he'd rather you shove it up your ass. Este cabrón, ¿qué va a hacer? Este cabrón, no me toques. No me toques, cabrón. Cálmate, cálmate. Hey, no me toques. Adios, amigos. Viva México. A gentleman looking for a particular item is approached by Ashley. I'm looking for a power steamer. No, I don't have a power steamer. So, a power washer. Can you get a guy to help me? You don't know about two. You're just a female. A dumb female. But it seems that the customer wants someone else. Well, what you standing here for? She gonna help me. Okay, she's a stupid female. How's that? Because she don't know what I want. Byron senses something is wrong and approaches, taking matters into his own hands. I'm gonna show you what a real man Step outside. Step outside. Okay. We outside. What's okay. going on? Whatever. Okay. I Put your happen. hands on me then and you find out. You know. Uh, I will. Punk. A gentleman looking to purchase a very expensive item seeks help from Seth. I'm looking for a Rolex. Anything in particular? I like something with a diamond bezel. Absolutely. Not on that one in particular. Most of us are certified gemologists. So we can pretty much You're tell. a certified gemologist? I am not, but I have some on staff. Well, I can tell you right away these do not look like diamonds.
it seems that this gentleman is a bit clueless. And how much are you asking for this? This one is 6000 For a Stay fake Rolex? Here. With all due respect, this is not even running. Hey, because there's no battery in it, because it's all movement-based. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really inclined to call the Better Business Bureau. He takes things too far, and Seth has had enough. Why are you lying to me about this watch? You're insulting my intelligence. So, no, you're I'm insulting sorry. My I'm sorry. You're, you're I, insulting no, my drove... story. We are not doing business. What you just did, my friend, is a 10 0 oh, That's assault. Sure. I'm calling the police. I wouldn't care. I, I'm calling call. the police. You call the NAACP, the NCAA, the AILU. I don't give a damn. Get out of here. Tell them Byron. Well, they wouldn't sell me a Rolex. A customer regretting her decision meets with Les. I just had sold some earrings for $100. Uh -huh. I want my earrings back. We have to hold them for two weeks for the police. That's the law. Like I said, go get my earrings. How about no? Things begin to escalate. You can come back in a couple weeks and pick them up. Give me my earrings back right now. Here's the slip. Here's the money. What else do you need? Hello? What, cat got your tongue? It's, I'm not smiling. I don't know why you got a grin on your face. Les has had enough. Trying to treat you like a lady? Like that lady uh, is gonna go by the wayside. Now what? You gonna do, bitch? Are you a woman or a man? Today I'm gonna be your man, then, bitch. You going no my wearing punk ass, bitch? Thank you. Your bitch ass. Watch your hands. Punk ass, thank you, my mother. A treasure hunter is in the store looking to get a good deal. Found this in the ocean. I'm a treasure hunter for like uh, 1700. It was in the Atlantic Ocean, 350 feet deep. The one you're bringing me actually has not even a gold charm. The offer Seth makes is not appreciated. I can actually give you 13 bucks. Can I talk to someone else, please? This insulting you. You're insulting me. Security has to intervene. Why, what, what's the matter? Why are you bringing this big? You're man? bringing him. Oh up. my God. Yo, yo, can you get out of my face, yo? Intimidate me? You intimidate me? What man? What's happening? You think you can solve that problem? What man? What man? You playing? You playing my man? Let's go. What? Can you put your hands on? All you guys are ass to you, touch guy. Dicks. Up next is a gentleman seeking to pawn his ring. Yeah, I was going to see how much I could pawn this for. And how much you looking for? Um, five. He's aiming for a hefty price, but he doesn't get what he wants. Will you accept anything under 500? Uh, no. I'm at about 150. We wouldn't even sell this for $500. Ashley steps into the conversation. They got the same one for 17.95. No, so you just said we wouldn't sell it for 500. A heated argument ensues. We cannot give you 500. Okay, right I here. can understand that, but 150, I might as well just give it to you for free. You can if you want. That's your own prerogative. But it's what the customer says next that escalates the situation. The problem is that it's the weight of the gold. You're not even trying to help me, though. You're trying to bullshit me. You a daddy's baby, so really? of course, yeah, really. Hey, Bud. My name is Jeff, not Bud. I damn no. well I don't want the loan for $150. I don't understand what the problem is. You got all your punk-ass security you guards ass. around, your punk-ass daddy in the back. Les and Seth arrive in a flash. Yeah. What's up? We're here, mother... I'm saying, don't touch me. Okay, come on, let's go outside. Hey, what you mean you ain't gonna touch me? You touching me now? I'm giving you a massage. Mother I don't give a about you, now. your daughter, your son, nobody. No you. Back in, punk ass daddy's girl. No. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.